Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you how to basically disable uh, Windows 7 Home Group um, as well as making uh, folders and files shared just as if uh, Windows XP would share. So the first step is to click uh, Start and then uh, actually wait, we'll go in this way. We'll click on the little network tool down at the bottom and then click on Open Network Sharing Center and uh, click uh, Change Home Group settings. Um, make sure that you're in a home network. That's very important. Change home group. Alright, what you want to do is you want to leave the home group. Okay, click leave home group. Alright, then finish and then you won't be in a home group anymore. It's important to do that. The next step is to disable the services. So start control panel. Always view by uh, small list. And then in administrative tools you'll find services. Now what you need to do is you need to disable two services in here. Um, you you will have to restart, so um, you can stop them if you want, but it won't make any difference. You still have to restart. So we'll change uh, them to disabled in that list, and then we'll click stop, and then OK, and then we'll do the same one for the uh, from the listener to the uh, home group uh, provider properties. We'll disable that as well. Hit stop, and then say OK, and what that'll do is that'll disable both of them. All right, we have to reboot at this point, so let's restart the computer, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back, and uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the same thing. I'm going to open up the little button at the bottom. We're going to go open uh, Network Sharing Center, and in here what you want to do is you want to uh, uh, change home group sharing options and then change advanced sharing settings. And what you're going to do is you're going to go down this list, okay, and what you want to do is turn off password protected sharing. Okay, use uh, accounts and passwords, uh, user accounts and passwords to connect to other computers. Click down the public, and you're also going to turn off password protected sharing. Hit save changes. Okay, you have to log off. So we'll log off and we'll log back on real quick. All right, and now what you'll need to do is create the folder that you want to share. So uh, um, I'm just going to create a new folder here. Um, let's call it shared uh, shared folder. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to right click on that folder, go to properties, you're going to go to sharing, you're going to click share. Okay. You're going to type everyone into there and say add, and you're going to make sure it's read what re read write, and then say share. Okay. Once that's shared, then you're all set. You just hit done. Go down to advanced sharing. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put a check mark in there. Go to permissions. Put a check mark under full control and hit OK. And then OK again. And then close. This uh, folder is now successfully shared. Now what you need to do is uh, click start. Right click my computer. Go to properties. And right here, you're going to look at this name here. Windows 7 VM is mine. But you're looking for the full computer name, because now what you're going to do is you're going to go over to another computer. This is another virtual machine that I'm running at the same time. We're going to open up my computer. We're going to type slash slash, and then that computer name. Mine was uh, win7vm, and then hit enter. Now, be forewarned, it could take some time to, uh, to do this, um, so give it some time. It may seem like it's frozen. It's really not. Just give it some more time. It'll just uh, it'll do its own thing. Um, sometimes uh, it'll be instant, sometimes it won't, but uh, you just got to give it some time. One thing uh, more that you should do, um, just in case you get an error on that, is open the network sharing settings again, and uh, choose home group settings, and then advanced sharing settings. And uh, what you're going to do is go down this list, and you're going to change 128-bit uh, to 40 or 56-bit and save settings. Um, that is important as well. Sorry I missed that. Um, it didn't actually connect for me. This still isn't connecting, so I'll be right back. Hello. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, what the issue was was if you go into the home uh, and change the sh settings again, I didn't see this before, but just double check that the turn off password protected sharing is still off and that if you click down the public that the public 
uh, turn off password protected sharing is also off. Uh, those have to be turned off. They sometimes magically turn themselves on like what just happened. I'm sorry about the delay on that, but uh, what happens is now whenever you type in your slash slash uh, win7vm, it will then continue to show you um, your folders that are in there. And uh, if you just double click the folder, it will allow you in. Normally what will happen is it will ask you for a password or it will say access denied. So I just want to show you I can uh, create something in here. And if we go over to the Windows 7, we have that same bitmap. And if I create something over here, say contact. Uh, I'm not going to create a contact. Let's uh, create a uh, text document. All right, if I go back over here, you see that it's been created. I can also, in fact, delete everything that I need as well. So it's a full out shared network between the two. And uh, that will definitely work on any situation. So I'm um, sorry about the delays that were in there. But uh, if this ever becomes an issue with you where you can't do it, just make sure that in the uh, change home group and sharing settings under the change advanced sharing settings that you uh, that you definitely have turn off password protected sharing as well as the uh, public password protected sharing. Um, they will give you errors like what you saw that I got and uh, you don't want to get those just make sure all those are set to these particular settings in this uh, in this part okay um, your home group will uh, also be the same thing as well so make sure that that's also turned off as well so those are the settings that I used that's how you can disable uh, uh, the home group in Windows 7 and use it just like you would Windows XP sharing and uh, that's the end of my video signing off